Zaniacs. I am Lainey. I am Marshall. And we have a book review for you today. It is called The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. This is like a more of a horror genre book. I ended up reading it because I'm participating in Bookopoly this month with the book club that I'm in and I landed on horror and I was like, oh, I don't really have a lot of that. So I had to find one. Uh, so I ended up getting it on Audible so that I could listen to it. And uh, the basic premise is there is this woman's book club. Obviously, it's in the South because Southern. And uh, they get together and read like mystery novels and detective novels. And uh, this guy comes to town and like uh, becomes friends with the main character's family, like really ingrains himself into their family, goes into business with the husbands of the book club group. Um, and then all of a sudden, like, some kids start disappearing and there are other really weird things happening like uh, lots of rats and just it's basic like weird things happening to the point where they think that this guy might be a monster of some kind. I don't think they ever really call him a vampire because he isn't like he's out in the daylight like like not our typical mm -hmm. this is what a vampire yeah. should do type thing uh so the whole time you're sitting there like is he a vampire is he not a vampire like and what is happening to these kids why are all these other things happening that are a little bizarre so that's the basic premise of this book so before we go into what i thought about it okay thoughts. so when she's describing this this seems more like what if dracula happened in the American South. That's exactly what what it kind of is, really, yeah. Because if you read Bram Stoker's Dracula, he he does go out in the daylight, mm -hmm. and all this stuff starts happening. I, okay, so this, this is kind of interesting. I like the idea of a modernized version of an older book. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, how did you feel about it? Well, you know, there were some scenes where I was like, eh, I mean, I'm okay with horror books, like, especially like contemporary horror books because I feel like they're they're a little bit gory but you know I watch Walking Dead so I can handle it and this book wasn't like horrible at all there were a couple scenes where I was like really that's yeah, okay um, but for the most part I thought it was really interesting although for some of it I basically was like why are you not seeing the signs <laughs> what like it took him a really long time to figure out what was happening to the kids and whatnot and and i was like hello but you know i think that's what gives you a really good journey of what the characters <laughs> like, are going why on why are you not doing this oh my gosh <laughs> you know this so tense. and it was bad because normally when i read a horror book i'm reading a horror book and this was an audio book and so i, I couldn't <laughs> like go faster and be like no no i had to be like okay okay what's happening so yeah i mean i gave it four stars because i really i thought it was a really good book i just there were parts of it that i was like no <laughs> no um i actually recommend that you would probably you'd probably that, like that sounds book. a lot better uh, like she had described it to me and it sounded like a pretty good book and now it sounds like a really good book <laughs> yeah so um you know it's been a while since i've read it so i hope i'm remembering correctly but yes that is what it is. All the information is down below if you want to uh, check this book out. Uh, it, it was, I think it was published either early this year or last year, so it's, you should be able to find it at your library. So, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.